when an engine has been completely overhauled and all components have been cleaned, there is no more oil in the complete oil circuit. From the very first start, however, all bearings must be adequately supplied with oil as quickly as possible. To achieve this, the engine oil passages, the oil filter and the oil cooler must be wented and filled with oil. The sequences show what happens when an engine is started up with and without a pressure oil filling. While only the oil used for assembly is available for a long time in the bearing points of the under-pressurized engine, the oil-pressurized engine can build up the oil pressure much more quickly and achieves sufficient lubrication of the bearing points after just a few revolutions. In order to avoid wear caused by insufficient lubrication during the initial startup, Motor Service recommends that all engines be oiled with pressure. For the correct filling with pressurized oil, such an oil filler with a pressure accumulator can be used, for example. To do this, fill the oil, specified by the manufacturer, into the container, close the shut-off valve and build up a pressure of approximately 2.5 bar, either with the hand pump or a connected air pressure device. Attention! In order to avoid damage to sealing elements in the engine or to the components used, the maximum oil pressure specified by the manufacturer should not be exceeded. The already provided plugs of the oil channel or the connection points of the oil pressure switch are suitable as connection points for pressing on. If possible, use a connection point located in front of the oil filter. Once connected, the oil is pressed under constant pressure as possible in the oil supply lines of the engine. It is important to ensure that the oil level in the oil filling container does not drop below the minimum level. If air is sucked in during the pressure oil filling and pumped into the oil circuit, the whole process must be repeated. It is advisable to pressurize the oil into the engine without the oil pan and cylinder head covers. So you see which bearings has reached the oil. The oil is pumped so long into the engine until it exits to the oil lubrication points that are furthest from the oil pump. In our example here, these are the bearings on the rocker arm shaft. The filling process is now complete. The pressure in the oil filler can be released and the engine oil circuit can be closed. The initial startup should now be carried out promptly because this ensures that there is sufficient oil at the bearing points and that no damage can occur to the motor bearings due to insufficient lubrication. By the way, you can order the oil filler used here from motor service.